Hey guys, welcome to Daily Top Points. I'll be going through some trigonometry today, and hopefully we'll be going through this chapter together, and we'll be able to have it all done and finished by the end of the week. Okay? So first off, with trigonometry, we've got our three basic rules, which is our sine, cos, and tan. Sine, cos, and tan. Now you guys all remember the uh, ratios that each of these represent. Sine is very obviously opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over adjacent. Now keep in mind that there's a theatre in between all of these. So it's to the theatre of the degree. Okay, so first off, they're asking you to um, write and find the values of the following trigonomic ratios. So you have a triangle. Okay? You got a right angle triangle and you have the specifications where you've got theater over here, okay? 25 up here. 7 on the sides and 24 down here. Okay? And what they want you to find is the sine, cos, and tan of this theatre right here. So for the moment we'll just call it, how about we'll call it x. I know it's a bit cliche, but we'll call it x, okay? So for this one, we've got to work out what's the sine of x. So sine x is equal to, what's going to be equal to? It's going to be equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Now the opposite is 7, so we put 7 at the top over the hypotenuse, which is going to be 25. See, the hypotenuse is directly opposite the right angle, and it's also the longest side of each triangle, okay? So we put 25 down in there. And that's pretty simple. We can put that out into our calculator, and we can easily get an answer for that. Um, next, we've got cos x as well. Cos x. Now, what's cos? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, okay? So we get our adjacent. So it's not the opposite, it's not the hypotenuse, it's the adjacent. And the adjacent here is 24. So we put 24 over the hypotenuse. We already know 20 hypotenuse here and there. It's 25. There we go. Now we've got our last one, which is tan, which is going to be opposite over adjacent, okay? So tan, tan x is equal to the opposite. Sorry, the opposite, 7, and the adjacent, which is going to be 24, okay? So we put 7 over 24, all right? Okay, and that's basically how it works. It's the fundamentals of trigonometry. Then we get on to more complex versions of this, okay? So these are the basic building blocks. You have to get this into your brain. Um, if you can't remember this easily, uh, one synonym or monomic that people usually use to remember it is so, ka, toa, t, o, a. Okay? So, sine, opposite over hypotenuse, ka, cos, adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan, opposite over adjacent. So, ka, toa. That's what they usually use. Okay? Alright, next, once you've got this, we get on to the more complex things, okay? The more complex version of sine is they have a reciprocal of it, which is called uh, cosec. So cosec may seem complex, but all it really is, is 1 over 7 over 25, okay? Now when you have a fraction over a fraction, you have to multiply it out. So another way to do that is 1 times, and then you flip this round, 25 over 7, okay? So you've got the 1 out here, and when you take this out, you flip it round, because you're multiplying it. So 1 times 25 over 7, and that's just going to give you 25 over 7. Okay, 
Now you don't need to do that um, most of the time because it's just going to be easily, you're just going to get this answer, okay, put it over there and just flip it. That's the easy way to think about it. So you just flip the sign and that's how you get the cos sec. Now cos, pretty simple enough, the cos is, the reciprocal of cos is represented by sec, don't ask me why, um, but someone is uh, deciding that it's sec, which is just a reciprocal of 24 over 25. So you just flip that round again, flip that round 25 over 24. Okay? Now tan, tan is pretty simple, follows the same rule as the other, it's just a reciprocal of 7 over 24. Bring that round, flip it, that way we get 24 over 7. And that's going to be that's going to be called cot, okay? So think of that as like a children's bed. So it's like cot. So you got cot here, you got sec, then you got cos sec, okay? So next to next to all of these, you should remember that sine is to cos sec, okay? So remember that as this sort of thing. So cos sec is the larger one, which goes to sine, and then you got cos. I mean, sorry, sec. Okay, sec. Just think of that as kind of like backwards cos, which is going to be like kes similar. So that's how you kind of remember it. And cot is the only one left. So by process of elimination, cot will equal tan. And you can also, it's also and the only one T, so you can kind of link that together as well. Okay, so that's pretty simple enough. That's the basics of trigonometry. Um, then they get you to do further steps towards this, but basically it's the sine, cos, and tan, and then you've got cos, sec, sec, and cot, which are the fundamentals to what they build on later on in the chapter.